In today's Escape from Tarkov video, I'm going to show you the true power of the Vector 45, which is the unbeloved brother from the Vector 9mm. Let's go! Dear comrades, I'm in the German is back, glad to have you here and we should start immediately with today's video about the true power of the Vector 45, which also works in the current meta very, very good. I hope you are interested in and before we start, grab any drink you like and let's go. So today I'm going to show you my Vector 45 build, it's quite simple. As the Vector 9mm, the Vector 45, it's very easy to use. You only need a grip, a proper grip, like the Magpul RVG, or if you want to have the best out of the best, you can go with the Shift Grip. The Suppressor is highly recommended because, let's compare the stats, 77 Ergo is very, very good, and 35 Recoil, it's still decent without a Suppressor, but with the Suppressor, 61 Ergo and 29 Vertical Recoil. I'm running the Vector 45 with the Magpul Moe stock because if you would choose the best what you can get in terms of recoil reduction, you would have 27 recoil, but only 40 ergonomics. And I think 29 vertical recoil and 60 ergo is the better way to play the vector right now. So the thing is, and I want to start with the ammunition, because it's very important that you understand what the true power of the vector 45 is. So I made the MP9 video and I thought about, okay, I have a gun with 1100 RPM, like the Vector 45, but the Vector 45 has better stats compared to the MP9. Of course, the MP9 is way cheaper and all of that, but I thought about, okay, let's try or let's play the Vector 45 right now with some AP rounds. But the problem with the AP rounds, you only have 36 or 37 penetration, which is not good. It's right now not good because everyone is running the current level 5 armor or a lot other M uh, level 5 armors. Oh, they have slicks or hex grid, of course, which are level 6. And on top of that, you only have 300 meter per second, which is also not so fast compared to some 9 mil rounds. So the thing is, and I struggle a lot with the Vector 45 ACP AP rounds at the end of the wipe. I would say early and mid wipe, it's okay but not as good as it should be in my opinion. I would say right now we need some improvements for the Vector 45 AP rounds because it's actually not worth to play. But what you should do, and that's the real strength of the Vector, is the rip ammunition. The reason for that is quite simple. The rip ammunition for the Vector 45 is the best rip round in the game if you're not looking for like the Ash 12 or some shotguns. If you take a closer look about ammunition for a fully automatic weapon with a decent recoil, the 45 rip is the best out of the best. You have 127 damage, which is a lot and a very high bleeding chance. The second best rip round is the 9mm rip with only 100, or let's say only 102 damage. There is a big difference compared to the 9mm and the 45. So I thought about, okay, let's run the 45 rip. And for me, it worked great. It worked very well. What you also can do early on is the Hydra Shock. I guess the Hydra Shock has 90 something damage. It's quite decent, still a high chance for heavy bleeding. But the Vector 45 rip is a beast. You have a very, very high DPS, but of course you have to change your gameplay, your playstyle, how you play Tarkov, because if you have a high flash damage, your penetration is very low. So that's why you have to aim for the head, arms, stomach and leg. It really depends on your opponent's gear. Let's say killer armor, forget to aim for a stomach, face shield, forget to aim for the head. But you can aim for arms and legs every time. And how Tarkov works right now is the arms are almost every time exposed, if not you can go for the head or for the legs. To aim for the stomach is a high risk, high reward, because even if your opponent has any kind of armor which protects the stomach, you will have almost no chance to penetrate the armor with the rip rounds. And as I mentioned, you have to change your playstyle. You have to turn your line of sight a little bit down if you are not so familiar with headshots or if you want to make sure that you want to hit the legs of your opponents. It's It can be difficult. Let's say you want to push into dorms and someone is camping inside dorms and he's just jiggle peeking a little bit. You only can see his upper body, his arms and his head. And that's why you also have to be familiar with shooting some arms or even the head. This can also be much more difficult if your opponent has some face cover of course. With face protection, rip ammo is almost useless. If you like to be the man in charge, if you like an aggressive playstyle, the Vector 45 can be the thing for you because almost nobody is using 
proper cover inside of a room, legs, arms and, and head are exposed almost every time. But let's continue with the recoil and the result afterwards. So first round with the Vector 45 rib, no recoil control. Second round with some proper recoil control, but as you can see the Vector is so easy to shoot. So what is the result about the Vector 45 with rip ammunition? Before you play the Vector 45 with AP rounds, try Hydroshock or what I recommend, rip ammunition. The problem is you will get rip ammo for mechanic level 4, which is kind of late in the game. So that's why you should also try the Hydroshock. And the thing is the same problem like the MP9. You have 1100 RPM, which is a lot. And you only have 30 round magazines. But the good thing is you can buy the Vector 45 from Skier level 2, that means you can get the Vector very early on in the game and as I said, Hydroshock or even FMJ are not so bad. I would try the Hydroshock because it works even in the current meta, it's not as good as RIP. So the thing is with the Vector 45, it is a little bit different compared to other SMGs. It can be very powerful due to the fact that you have a high DPS with the RIP, but you have to change your playstyle. But I also have to admit that I'm not so comfortable with this leg meta playstyle. I like to have some high penetration rounds and it doesn't really matter where I shoot my opponent, especially I like to shoot in the torso, in the upper body or in the head of course, because this is almost a safe takedown of my opponent. But as I said, this can be a very powerful playstyle if you get comfortable and familiar with it. It's very nice, it's different and works even right now. So right now it's your turn. I'm really interested in your feedback about the Vector 45 with RIP ammunition and we are streaming on Twitch almost every day from Escape from Tarkov to the Z. It really depends what you like guys. And don't forget we Germans want to win at least something. That's very important and that's why we want your like for this video. I would really appreciate it. Let's jump to the next video. Stay safe, guys.